Live from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching CPTV. Welcome back to CPTV. We're bringing you our first ever election night live coverage. We have the latest results in the presidential race. We also have the latest in some of our local results. And one of our reporters is actually live at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters. Thanks for tuning in to CPTV. I'm Lindsay McLeod. We're getting some of the projected results in for the presidential election. CNN is actually projecting President Barack Obama will be returning for four more years. Mitt Romney is following closely with 201 electoral votes and 50% of the popular vote. President Obama is projected to get 274 electoral votes compared to Mitt Romney's 201 so far. The popular vote is close though, with Mitt Romney having a lead of 1 million votes over the president. We'll continue to update you throughout the night as we learn more. We actually have one of our reporters, Christina Favuzzi, live right now at Mayor Jan Marks' uh, political headquarters. Christina, can you tell us what's going on there? Hi, Lindsay. Yeah, I'm here live at Big Sky Cafe in San Luis Obispo. Jan Marks is having her party here. We're waiting the election results. But as you can see, the restaurant is filling out, and we have some people, supporters coming out and supporting Jan. She's been talking to all of her supporters. So it's been a really fun evening so far. Things are just getting started. We're expecting more people to come in and enjoy the evening as we wait for the election's results to come in. She is the incumbent, and there's a is expected to be re-elected, so it'll be a really exciting evening here. Back to you, Lindsay. Thanks, Christina. We'll be checking in again with you shortly. Now, we're gonna go look at some of the results of the propositions on our ballot right now. Uh, let's go for Prop 30 right now. No on Prop 30, which raises taxes to fund education, is currently winning. 51.2% of voters are no on the prop, with 48.8 voting yes but only 6% of precincts have reported so far. On to Prop 31, this changes the way the state controls its budget. Right now, no is leading at 58% and yes is at 42%. 6% of precincts have reported. And finally, let's look at Prop 32. This would make it illegal for unions and corporations to donate directly to political campaigns. Right now, no is leading at 51.9% and 48.1% are on the yes side. 6% of precincts have reported in that as well. Coming up on CPTV at 9 o'clock, we have the latest on the presidential election, plus more at Mayor Jane Marks' campaign headquarters and the latest proposition results. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest. Stay tuned. CBTV reporter Christina Favuzzi is live at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters. Christina, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on out there? Hi, Lindsay. Yeah, we have some great people out here supporting Jan Marks. I have some numbers for you. Just talked to Mustang Daily, and they've told me that 7.5% of the vote has been counted and that Jan Marks is leading by 40%. She has 65% of the vote right now, so we're waiting to hear those final results and we'll keep you posted on that right now. The people here enjoying the atmosphere, talking with Jan Marks, getting to know who our next mayor could be for another two years. She is the incumbent, so we'll see how she does tonight and if, if Slow County decides to reelect her. Back to you, Lindsay. Thanks, Christina. We'll come back to you in about 30 minutes to see if anything changes. No on Prop 30, which raises taxes to fund education, is currently losing. 51.8% of voters are no on the prop, with 48.2% voting yes. 12% of precincts have reported. Let's look at Prop 33. This would allow auto insurance companies to discount prices for people who have had long-term coverage. Currently, no is winning with 52.2% of the votes. Yes is following at 47.8% of votes. 12% of precincts have reported there as well. Finally, on to Prop 34, this would repeal the death penalty in California and replace it with life in prison without the possibility of parole. Currently, no is leading with 56% of votes, 44% of voters are saying yes, and 12% of precincts are reporting. Coming up on CPTV at 9.30, we have the latest on the presidential election, plus more at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters and the latest proposition results. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest. Stay tuned.
300 on Caterpillar's campus, you're watching CPTV. Election night live coverage. We have the latest results in the presidential race. We also have updates on our local races, and one of our reporters is live at Mayor Jan Marx's campaign headquarters. Thanks for tuning in to CPTV. I'm Lindsay McLeod. Let's go straight to Mayor Jan Marx's headquarters where Christina Fabrizi seems to be live. How's it going out there, Christina? I think we're having some some technical difficulties. We'll try to connect with Christina after this. Um, let's go right to our coverage of the presidential election. CNN All right, is, I'm oh. here at Big Sky oh. Cafe in San Luis Obispo County. All right, I'm here at Big Sky in SLO with Cal Poly political science professor Alan Suttle, and also he was the former mayor of SLO County. So. Professor Sutter, what can you tell us about Jan Marks? Why you're supporting her? I encourage Jan Marks to run for mayor. She did. She was successful. She was a former member of the city council, and I encourage her to remain on the city council. And she has done an excellent job as mayor. Her reelection is not a surprise. Same with John Ashbaugh and Dan Carpenter. Uh, they're all incumbents. Basically, uh, one of the things the city council did, and also uh, uh, the members of the council took a strong position on this. They asked the voters to do away with binding arbitration, and the voters, by over 70%, did just that. Jan is a perfect candidate to continue on because she's very good on land use planning and getting the city circulation and land use element updated. Okay, and what do you hope to see her do in the next two years, and how has your experience, you told me that you've had over 30 years of experience in public service here in Slow County, so how does that play into what she does in these next two years? I've had four terms as mayor, I'm a six terms as council, um, and a planning commissioner and so forth. One of the things that Jan will be doing is uh, the general plan update, the issues here of handling the city budget, the issues here of renewing, the Measure Y monies in order to use that for infrastructure improvement. Uh, and basically, those are the type of challenges that she'll be setting. And basically, next year, she'll be having an opening for all people to come to the city and tell them how they like the city budget and a two-year budget to spend money. This is your opportunity to participate in government and take advantage. Jan is a very open person to do that. And I'm delighted to have a person like Jan Katie Lichtig is the city manager. Christine Dietrich is the city attorney. Uh, these ladies do a fabulous job. We're very fortunate to have that quality of staff. And Great, and hopefully Cal Poly students will get out there and have their voices heard at those open forums. We, we wish to have that every time because Cal Poly is an integral part of the city and the, one of the largest economic employers in this community. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Live at Big Sky Cafe in Slow County, I'm Christina Pavuzzi for CBTV. Thanks, Christina. We'll come back to you shortly in 30 minutes when we're back. Let's go to our coverage of the presidential election now. CNN is projecting that President Barack Obama has won. They also predict he will win Nevada on his way to being reelected. Here you can see crowds celebrating at the Obama headquarters. And the Empire State Building has also changed its lights to blue in honor of President Obama's potential win. He currently has 281 electoral votes and 49% of the popular vote. Mitt Romney is following with 201 electoral votes and 49% of the popular vote. The popular vote is closer, though. Mitt Romney is leading with just over 100,000 votes. We'll continue to update you throughout the night as we learn more. Now let's take a look at some of those propositions that are on our ballot. We will start, actually we'll go look at the Caps-Malnado race right now. We do have some results in from that. Um, Lowe's Caps currently is in the lead with 52.1% of votes. Abel Malnado follows with 47.9%. It's a heated race for this seat, so we'll keep you updated as we continue to learn more. And now to those propositions, we'll start with Prop 30. This would raise taxes to fund education, and it's currently losing. 51.8% of voters are no on the prop, with 48.2% voting yes. 16.8% of precincts have reported. 
And let's go to Prop 35. This increases the penalties for convicted human traffickers, and it's winning. 83.2% of voters said yes to the prop, with just 16.8% voting no. 16.8% of precincts have reported there as well. And finally, Prop 36, which changes the three strikes law to make the third strike a violent felony, is winning. 68.4% are voting yes, and 31.6% are voting no. And 16.8% of precincts have reported there as well. Coming up on CBTV at 10, we continue to update you on the latest with the presidential election, plus more at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters and the latest local government and state proposition results. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest. Stay tuned. You're watching CPTV. Back to CPTV, we're bringing you our first ever election night live coverage. We have the latest results in the presidential race. We also have updates on our local races, and one of our reporters is live at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters. Thanks for tuning in to CPTV. I'm Lindsay McLeod. CPTV reporter Christina Favuzzi is live at Mayor Jan Marks' campaign headquarters right now. She's actually talking to Mayor Marks. Christina, what's going on there? Hi, Lindsay. Hi. I'm here with Mayor Candidate Jan Marks. How are you feeling tonight? What was the atmosphere, atmosphere like here at Big Sky? And how are you feeling as the numbers are coming in? Very good. Thank you very much. It's looking very positive. So right now I've got 65% of the mail-in votes, and I'm hoping that the poll voters will also follow suit. And what are your plans for the second term? Now you have two years of experience in this role, and how will that shape your decisions in the next two years? Well, I've learned how to do the job, which is a big deal. Um, I'm very much interested in continuing to reach out to the students and also to make sure that we update our land use and circulation element update in such a way that it really reflects the people who are going to be raising families and having jobs in the year 2035. That's very important to me. All right, well, I'm live here at Big Sky Cafe in San Luis Obispo with Mayor Jan Marks. I'm Christina Pavuzzi for CPTV. Back to you, Lindsay, in the studio. Thanks, Christina. We'll continue to update everybody on all of the mayor races as we learn more information. Right now, we continue our coverage of the presidential election. CNN is projecting that President Barack Obama has won. They also predict he will win battleground state Virginia on his way to being reelected. Here you can see crowds celebrating at the Obama headquarters, and the Empire State Building has also changed its lights to blue in honor of President Obama's potential win. He currently has 303 electoral votes and 49% of the popular vote. Mitt Romney is following with 203 electoral votes and 49% of the popular vote as well. It's a close one. Mitt Romney is no longer leading the popular vote. We'll continue to update you throughout the night as we learn more. We also have some results in on the Caps-Maldonado congressional race. Lois Caps is still in the lead with 52.1% of votes. Abel Maldonado follows with 47.9%. 7.2% of precincts are reporting right now. It's a heated race for this seat, so we'll keep you updated as we continue to learn. Let's take a look at our propositions again. We're following Prop 30 closely because this will raise taxes to fund education and help Cal Poly. Currently, it's losing. 51.8% of voters are no on the prop, with 48.2% voting yes. 17% of precincts have reported. And on to Prop 37, this would require companies to label genetically modified food, and it's also losing. 57.7% are voting no, and 42.3% are voting yes. 17% of precincts have reported there as well. 
Finally, Prop 38, which is competing for Prop 30 for education funding, is also losing. 74.5% of voters are saying no, and only 25.5% are voting yes, and 17% of precincts have reported. Coming up on CPTV at 10.30, we continue to update you on the latest with the presidential election, plus the latest local government and state proposition results. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest. Stay tuned.